Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to create these Christmas animations in a Canva. But before we dive into the tutorial, I have a free favor to ask. If you like my content and find it valuable, please take a moment to hit the small like button and subscribe to my channel. As it really helps to create the content for you. Thanks, and now let's get started. I already opened an empty page here, new project. Uh, first, we need a background, so I need to search for a Christmas background. I'm going to the photos orientation. I need a vertical, which is better for the art project. I just need to find something really nice and really useful. Mm, I would like to have something with uh, not so many elements. And so what's something good for me, I think already a bow. Where is this? Yeah, let's use this one. Like this, yeah, okay, this is good. So, the next one we need a Merry Christmas text, we need graphics, and we just need to choose the text or element what we would like to add it to the project. I think I will use this now. Yes, let's see how can I can animate. Okay, I can animate. Nice. And now we also need the Christmas elements. Christmas elements, and we can use actually all of them. You can use graphics or we can use elements from the Photos and go to increase the size of the uh, size a bit. This text on this text. So I need some decoration first of all. Yeah, this big one is good, and we can attach the top. So in this case, when we are moving up, this looks like this. This will be funny, really funny animation maybe we can use more like this it's not a problem is it too much that's never too much it's already looking good and we need something uh, behind mm. could be this no okay removing the background boxes just increasing the size a bit like this okay and position layers and moving behind the balls it's already already a bit too much but it's but it's good okay so next step we need to duplicate the page and on the first page i will Go into the position and just removing this uh, text. Hovering the mouse between the two pages and going to the add transition, match and move, and like one second. And also the length of the pages is a bit two and apply to all pages. So we're going back to the second page. Holding the shift button in this case uh, when I'm moving to the left or right, I can still do it. Okay, it's not good. Something not good. No problem. I'm just moving up a bit. And this one also. And this one, this is 
boxes, just uh, scaling down a bit like this and just moving to here and click on the Merry Christmas animate and try to find what is the perfect animation this shake this chroma move again or or tv or tv is also nice or we can use the brush or ink look at the ink see flow splash or bloom or back to the brush curve dip this is not swirl and also not wide no stay in a curve or move into the old tv and the speed just a bit lower and one also important thing right click on an element and show element timing because we need to move this timing so we have to adjust it has to be inside the inside the page not moving to the previous one and now we can see it's moving up and down and there yeah. as you can see that's already something what we like of course we can uh, move the items a different size or we can move use more smaller items and elements to moving left and right up and down i like to i like these balls to moving up and also the the gifts just uh, zooming out so that's also a nice trick the only problem is uh, with this uh, moving out so if i'm moving out from the page let me see what's happened happening nothing because it's not existing on this page so this is a this is the back side of this, so I need to do this again. Uh, position, I need the boxes. Control C, Control V again. Just minimize it a bit and moving to the left. Like this. It's already better. And the only trick what we can do if we would like to moving out something outside of the outside of the Canva, we have to create a new element like this green something ribbon, and we need also a shape. We need a square. We can attach this square, just zooming a bit, like this, and go into the color and just removing the color. So as you can see, the, we have this uh, rectangle here, and when we selecting both we can group it so we have a bigger element which is really nice in this case so we have this huge element and if i move to like to here just uh, like to here and so i just need to control c control v and we can move it to the left this one already can delete the whole page because the the whole element is still inside it's not visible but still inside of the canva the the, the this uh, ai thinks the this is a whole ele uh, element so the element is still inside this small portion of the canva even if it's 
invisible, still part of the the whole element. The this uh, match and move animation things that actually the the element was moved from the middle to the left, and even we know the real element is only here, but uh, this match and move element uh, animation things with this we animated we move this whole portion because actually this is what happened actually the, uh, the match and move uh, animation uh, moving like uh, working like this if you're moving a same element any part in the anywhere else in the in the canva this is happening that's when the whole uh, The whole element was moved, so the the, the and still inside the canvas, so that this match and move uh, transition can do the magic. If we just uh, moving outside of the canvas, the whole element. In this case, we lost the element, and actually, will be also this match and move will be done, but not like moving, just became invisible with a small uh, with a smooth transition. But this is not good if you would like to move something just outside of the of the canva. This is the best option we what we can do. Like you see, we're just moving to the left, and it really works. The only problem is when we use this technique, if we try to also rotate, we also have to think about it. This small additional portion is still the part of the part of this. Uh, Element. So if I just uh, have you show it how it works. This this is not here is not a problem. But like if we would like to uh, rotate a circle, that we be not rounding as a circle. If we would like to rotate a donut, the not we have to think about no, the if we using without this small uh, invisible item. The center will be the center of the donut, so it really looks this is round and then this is ro rotating on a donut. But if you add this additional uh, part, the the center will be also moving, so that will be a bit uh, bit funny. But anyhow, that's uh, this small portion is uh, works perfectly. As you can see, also it's moving and rotating, so that's. Uh, we can do this really funny animation, but anyhow, this is not part of this uh, Christmas uh, animation. But now, this tutorial are going to the end. Hope so you like it. If you really like it, please do not forget to hit that small uh, like button, subscribe to my channel, leave comment in the comment section first of all to feed the algorithm and help me to reach more and more people. Plus, you can if you have any problem issues with canva or struggling anything or just let you know something about it just feel free to use the comment section and i try to answer as soon as possible please also check the description where you can find the links for my facebook page instagram page and uh, instagram page uh, tiktok page sorry where you can find a uh, lots of another uh, tutorials not only from me also from another great canva experts list in our facebook page as I mentioned already, you can find uh, links in the description. But now, this tutorial really going to the end. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Ciao.